Hello everyone, welcome to Theme World. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a careers page within your WordPress site using just a very simple forms plugin. So we'll create job application forms for a couple different job postings, a very basic job application portal where people can come in, they can put their portfolio links, they can upload their CVs, everything. So yeah, let's get started. But before we do, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to create a careers page, something like this right here, where you can list out different job roles that you're looking for. Obviously, when you're actually creating your own careers page, make sure the design looks a little bit better than this. I'm just showing you this for a demo purpose. Right here within my careers page, I've got three different job roles. One is for a video editor, one is for a PHP developer, and the other one for a web designer. And whenever someone clicks on apply, then they'll be redirected to the dedicated page for that job role where they can fill out this form right here. And also within this dedicated page for the job role you can list out what you're looking for within that job role etc all that good stuff you know this is going to work the same for all the other job roles as well so let's get started here i have a different site with a similar design already created so let me visit the site for you and here i have already created a careers page within which i've got a php developer page video editor page and a web designer page so if i click on the careers page then this design right here was created using just your normal gutenberg blocks and yes this button right here it basically takes people to this video editor job application page where we need to create a form so yeah, these pages right here this is really nothing fancy i just created a very basic page with a few different blocks so here if i go within section you know i've just created a section here and there's three columns within and i've just used a image block a heading block a paragraph block and a button block really simple stuff and these buttons right here they take people to their dedicated job application pages so yeah that's it this is a very basic page design that i've created but the major piece of the puzzle is going to be the form that we're going to create and we're going to place it right here so yeah let's get started with the form creation process so the forms plugin that we're going to use in this video is called the everest forms plugin so simply go within plugins add a new plugin and search for everest forms that's everest forms and you should see everest forms right here Hundred thousand plus active installations one of the best form builder plugins out there for wordpress simply click on install now and once the plugin has been installed simply click on activate and the plugin will be activated for you now the good thing about this plugin is that you get file upload field for free so if you're going to create any sort of job application forms within your wordpress site then this is going to be the best tool you can use while other form plugins ask you to pay in order to use the file upload field you'll get it for free within this plugin so yeah anywho as soon as you've activated the plugin you'll be redirected to their dashboard right here this is the everest forms dashboard so yeah let's go within forms here all forms and by default everest forms gives you this default contact form which honestly in this video we're not going to need so i'm just gonna trash it for now and we're just going to click on add new and we're going to create our very own Form. So when you click add new, you'll be greeted with this. They've got many different form templates. So you cannot just create job application forms. You can create a lot of other different forms as well. So yeah, but in this video, I'll show you how to start from scratch. So let's click on get started and let's give our form a name. So the first form that we're going to create is going to be for the video editor role. So I'm simply going to type in video editor job application. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's click on continue. And right after that, you'll be greeted with this form builder right here. And you can simply drag and drop all these different fields within your form. This is the form builder right here. So yes, let's get started with the fields. So when you're creating a job application form, obviously you're going to need a first name and a last name field. So simply drag those in. You'll probably also need an email field to collect their email. So let's drag this email field right here. And we'll also need a phone number field. So let's go down below within advanced fields. We have a dedicated phone field. So after this, you might want to ask your applicant how long they've been in editing videos for so in that case you can simply add a row here and let's do this i'm going to make this row a singular row where i'm going to add a singular field and that field is going to be multiple choice right so let's drag this field right here and let's ask our applicant how long they've been editing videos for. So if you click on this field right here, then you'll see its field options from where you can change its label and basically change other settings for the dedicated field. In our case, it is the multiple choice field. So let's ask people or let's ask our applicant, how long have you been editing, editing videos for? I guess the first choice would be less than six months. Second one is going to be one to two years. And third one is, let's just put two plus years. 
So now let's make this field required so that people will not be able to submit the form without filling out this field. So yeah, you'll see this required toggle right here. Simply click on it. And yes, you can do the same for all the other fields as well. Let's do it for our first name field, make it required. For our last name field, make that required as well. And our phone field, make that required as well. And make sure if you're using the phone field to always have this smart format right here. This basically means people will be able to fill out this phone field in their local phone number format, if you get what I mean. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'll show you later on. Anyways, we've asked our applicant how long they've been editing videos for. Now, the next thing that I would most probably want to ask them is in what ways do they think they can help us grow as a company? So let's drag this paragraph text field right here that you can see and let's edit its label. Let's type in in what ways do you think you can help us grow? question mark make this thing required as well so if this is a paragraph text applicants can basically give a very descriptive answer to whatever it is that you're looking for and it seems i've made a mistake here in what ways do you think you can help us grow so there you go this is a paragraph text right here now most probably the next thing that you would want to ask them is how much is this person going to cost me so in that case we're going to have to ask them their expected salary so from within your general fields right here you can simply drag in a number field for that drag and drop it just like so and again change its label something like a expected salary and let's oh my god i really can't type it's because of the mic the mic is right in front of me so i have a hard time typing but bear with me here so we're gonna ask them expected salary in usd and also let's make this field required so this is a number field where a user cannot fill anything besides numbers so yeah We've got our expected salary field. And now the most important field that you would want to add to your job application forms, it's going to be the file upload field, which is available for free within this plugin. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's drag and drop it. But before that, let's go ahead and let's add a row first. I want a double column row now. And yeah, you can make as many columns as you want within this form, a double column row, a triple column row, a quadruple column row, anything. So yeah, but for now, I'm going to use the double column row here. We're going to get our file upload field, just drag and drop it right there. And let's change its label. So yeah, you can click on the field and you can change its label once again, drop us your CV, not CV, but CV slash cover letter whatever it is that the person wants to provide they can provide that and yeah here within this file upload field right here you can set the maximum file size that is allowed to be uploaded allowed file extensions as well suppose i just want the person to be able to upload pdfs then i'm just going to type in pdf and probably something like jpeg then i can do that just separate it with a comma and you'll be good to go but yes for this one i don't really think i want to allow or disallow file extensions so i'm just going to leave it as it is so we've got our drop us your cv slash cover letter file upload field right here and after that i want to ask people or the applicants for their portfolio links to see what sort of works they've done before so let's go back to our add fields menu and from in here what you can do is you can get a website slash url field you can drag it right there and you can ask people for links to their works it could be drive links it could be behance dribble etc so yeah let's go ahead let's change its label and let's type in portfolio links or link my bad this is just a singular link so it's going to be drive behance dribble youtube etc so there you go if you want to make this field required you can do that as well actually we need to do that for our cover letter field as well make this field required any other fields that we need to make required no all these fields are required so yeah there you go your form is ready so let's go ahead let's click on save now and now you might be wondering so for every single job application i have to create a form well you don't have to once you've created this form right here you can duplicate this form and you can change it so that is what we're going to do for our other two different job application roles so once you've saved the form let's go back within all forms once again and from in here we can see our video editor job application form is ready and you have this option right here to duplicate it so simply click on duplicate and you'll have another form ready for you so now this form is going to be for our php developer job application so that is what i'm going to type in ph not pdp php dev job application and wait there's something more here let me remove that okay so now this form is dedicated for php developers you can be asking them how long they've been editing videos for so yeah let's go ahead and let's change a few things here so you might probably want to ask them how long have you been developing in php 
and yeah we'll leave the time frame as it is they can choose less than six months one to two years or two plus years and yeah the second one i'm just gonna leave this as it is as well in what ways do you think you can help us grow expected salary i'm gonna leave that as well and finally the cover letter slash your file upload field i'm going to leave that as well just as it is now for the portfolio links part you probably want to ask them their github to see their code so i'm just gonna type in github here and let's save it so there it is we have our php developer form ready as well so now again, let's go within all forms. And now we need to create our final form, which is going to be for this web designer right here. So yeah, now for our web developer, let's go ahead and let's duplicate one of these forms. I'm going to duplicate the PHP developer form right here. And like usual, we're going to change its name to web designer job application. And you'll probably have this field ID right here. So yeah, then we need to remove this as well. I really just like my form titles to be clean. So yeah. Anyways, once again, for our web designer, we're basically going to have to ask them how long have they been designing websites for? Less than six months, one to two years, and two plus years. Another field, in what ways can you help us grow? That's going to be just fine. And finally, we've got our portfolio links. for, And currently, we're asking them for their GitHub, which is not ideal. Honestly, I don't even know what links designers can share. So I'm just going to ask them for their portfolio link just you know make this simple there it is i'm just going to save this form right here and there we go we've created all three necessary forms for our careers page now all that's left to do is to just slap these forms into their dedicated pages and we'll be good to go so let's do that so here I have my editor open for the careers page. Now in this video, I obviously didn't show you how to create the pages, etc. Because this really just falls within basic WordPress designing. I've really not done much. I've just used the basic blocks here. I am using a custom blocks plugin. But yeah, you can use any blocks plugin, honestly. And this is just basic designing. So if you don't know how to design pages, then you might have to look for some videos online. But yes, yeah, so you can basically create a careers page right here. And whatever careers or job listings that you have, you can create another dedicated page for it. Make sure that page is is parented to the careers page just like this as you can see right here so the reason you parent pages is because when you view the page now it's going to show up something like this your domain name.com slash careers page slash video editor right so that's why you parent pages so currently video editor page is parented to the careers page so yes very simple stuff i don't think i need to explain it once you've done that let's go ahead within your dedicated pages for the video editor page let's go ahead and let's slap our video editor form so within your blocks drawer you can see your Everest forms block right here we can simply drag and drop it right within this column or whatever it is that you've created or whatever it is that you want this form to be displayed on your job application page and from in here you can simply select a form like the video editor job application form select it and it will show up just like this and yeah currently in the preview it might look a little bit odd but don't worry about it if i show you the page there it is it looks just fine you've got your job application form right here and yes i'll show you how to view entries in just a bit whenever someone fills this out where do you find it i'll show you how to do that but yeah let's first go ahead and let's slap all these forms to the dedicated pages i'm gonna go back let's go within our php developer page and in here as well let's click on our blocks drawer or your blocks inserter let's go ahead and let's drag the Everest form block within the page and select our php developer job application form save the page check it out see how it looks there it is it's looking pretty clean and now it's the time for our web designer page so let's go ahead and let's edit this web designer page right here again search for the Everest forms block slap it in there and select web designer job application form save it let's view that as well and there it is okay so now let me show you what the site looks like from an incognito window where i'm not logged in to show you how a user would interact with our careers page so yeah they're just gonna visit the site and they're going to see we have a careers page so they're going to click on it they'll see we have three different listings one for a video editor a php developer and a web designer if i was a video editor i would simply click on apply and it will take me to the video editor job application page just like so and i'll see what the employer is looking for and then i'll fill it out if i am the match so let's fill it out real quick and i need to enter a valid phone number let's go ahead and let's upload a random file so here it is i've selected a random image i'm going to open that up and i'm simply going to click on submit also i don't think i need to tell you how to fill out the form right expected salary they just fill out in numbers this is a radio button they can fill it out this is a paragraph text so they can fill it out as much as they want to they can type their heart out and this right here is for links they can put in their portfolio link once that's done click on submit and thanks for contacting us we'll be in touch we'll be in touch with you shortly so there you go our form has been submitted now as soon as a form has been submitted if we go back within our back end within our wordpress dashboard then within everest forms 
you can go with an entries here actually let me refresh the page first if you go with an Everest forms entries then from in here you can check out entries for all your job application forms so yeah currently i've not filled out anything within the web designer job application form we filled it out for the video editor job application form so let's click on it let's click on filter and we'll see this right here this is the entry we can view all their information plato first name last name folder email we've got our phone number here how long i've been editing videos for two plus years blah 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 salary and this is their cover letter as well you can simply click on it and you'll be able to view it just like so pretty simple you've got their portfolio link as well and this is going to work for all the other forms so yes this is how you would create a job application forms for your careers page within your wordpress website now there's also many many more things you can do within this form one of them being if you want email notifications whenever someone fills out this job application form then you can simply edit any one of these forms you can go within the form settings right here click on settings and yeah, you've got many other settings in here like you know what do you want the submit button text to be like you can change it from here if you want to change the design if you want to give a custom css etc you can do all those from in here but yeah, if you want email notifications there is settings for that as well if you go within the emails tab you can create multiple different notifications here like if you want a notification one for yourself which is the admin notification which does come by default you can add another email for the user so you can type in user or in our case it's going to be the applicant email and yeah within this email you can basically fill out who you want this email notification to be sent to and in our case it's going to be for the user so you can click on this, which is basically the smart tag icon, and you don't need to know what smart tag is. Basically understand when you click on this, it's going to show all the available fields within your form, and you can simply click on this email field right here. So what's going to happen is this thing right here, this, this smart tag is going to get the user's email, whoever it is that fills out this form, and this email notification will be sent to them here we've got our from name if you want to change this you can you can put something personal you can put your company's name etc your from address is going to be admin email or whatever it is that you've set up your smtp for and if you don't know what smtp is do some googling okay if you're sending emails from your wordpress website without an smtp then you're doing it wrong okay so here you can basically give your email subject or your email notification a subject we could say thanks for applying to xyz whatever company you have and here this all fields tab it this basically gets all the information that a user has filled out within the form and it displays it for them so you can just put this thing at last and you can type in thank you for applying to theme grill our recruiters will check out your application soon in the meantime please check out the information that you've filled out below and yeah this thing all fields right here it's going to render information of all the fields that they've filled out within our form so let's go ahead and let's save this let me preview you what this is going to look like so if i click on preview so here you can see this is a very basic preview of the email that the user would get after they fill out the form or the applicant in our case so it's going to say thank you for applying to theme grill our recruiters will check your application soon in the meantime please check out the information and all the fields within our form will be rendered for them to check out obviously this right here is just a preview it's going to look a little bit different but yeah you can set up email notifications this way if you want notifications for yourself then you already have a default admin notification which is going to send out a notification or an email to your administration email for the wordpress site if you want to change that and you want to put your own personal email to receive this notification then you can just type in your notification you can type out multiple different notifications you can just separate it with a comma and you can type out your email as well you can save it and whenever it fills this form out you will get the email so yes there you go that is how you would create a careers page within your wordpress site using just a singular plugin. You don't need a very wild plugin to do any of this. You can just get a forms plugin. You can do a basic designing within your pages and you'll be good to go. So there it is. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. All the helpful links will be down in the description below. If you want to learn more about that plugin, there will be the documentation link and the YouTube channel link where you can learn a lot more about that plugin. You can learn how to navigate it. So yeah, just letting you know and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.